What's up? Keep it between the lines, y'all. Okay, so I've been MIA for a little while. Um, I'm just coming off of home time. Um, I'm in Laurel, Maryland. Uh, I live in VA. I think I said that in one of my other videos. Um, I, I, I apologize, y'all. I am not a consist, consistent YouTuber, so uh, I don't have videos coming out back to back to back like that. Let me know if y'all can hear me too, man, in, in this video. I got my good old clear drive on. Rand McNally product. Um, I'm, I'm just recently uh, using Rand McNally. I, I ain't never really used Rand McNally like that before. Uh, even my good old little GPS is a uh, Rand McNally. Um, they, they make pretty good pro products. Shit. Oh, excuse me for cursing. Um, I'm doing some, some, you know, some rigging up some stuff. I don't have no tripod or nothing like that. Got the truck running. <clears throat> yeah, but Rand McNally, man, they, they make pretty good stuff. Um, I had a uh, a comment uh, by uh, Good Vibes 1, I believe. Shout out to Good Vibes for leaving that comment for me. Uh, they wanted me to do a video on uh, on the Qualcomm about uh, new loads. So I'm waiting for my uh, Qualcomm to load up and stuff and I'm going to do a quick video on how I put in my um, my new load um, so we're gonna run you know go over that and um, see what it do uh, I'm, a I'm actually very late for this appointment uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be here at 8 o'clock this morning did gear to like four o'clock this evening, but um, there's no way I could have made it here no eight o'clock this morning. I was still in the bed asleep, to be honest with y'all. Like I said, I'm just coming off of home time, so I think my dispatcher called me at like around nine, a little bit after nine. But anyway, it's all good. This is one of those places that uh, you know they'll still take you. You know, even if you're late, not saying that being late is acceptable and it's okay, but hey, <clears throat> excuse me, it happens in trucking sometimes. So, if you want to do this, don't think you're going to be late to every single one of your appointments. All the time. Did I say late? If I said late, excuse me, don't think you're going to be on time or early to every single one of your appointments because you're not. And if somebody tells you that, don't don't believe me. Um, because you never know what you're gonna run into out here. Um, it could be an accident, inclement weather, traffic jam. Traffic jams can be the worst sometimes. Uh, I'm talking about where you know traffic so bad that you have guys like I was in one the other day. I pulled on the shoulder and took my 30 minute break. That's how bad the traffic jam was. I think I was on. Uh, 71, I believe. I was headed back to Ohio. But, don't come out here thinking that. I mean, like you say, you, you, you want, you want to try to be on time. I mean, you will be on time to a lot of your appointments, to most of them. But, sometimes it's not, it ain't gonna happen like that. But anyway, my, uh, Qualcomm is loaded up. So I'm going to turn y'all around and uh, I'm going to show y'all how how I do my uh, put my new load in when I when I get a new load. I um, I have a notepad right here. I find it very handy because what, what you know what I'm saying what I do I write all of my stuff down like this. The top number up there is uh, 332081. That is my trip number. Got this. 
paper kind of folded a little bit. I know this is probably not the best video as far as video wise, but you and and then the you have the uh, pickup number on there, which is the 104 number. Most places that you go to, they're gonna ask for a PU number or your 104 number. That's what that second number is. The PO number, I just wrote that down just because. And you you will see a minus 20 on there. That minus 20 is what my reefer should be set at. So um, I have my reefer set at uh, minus 20. I got it pretty cool. And that TR is, uh, I think my thumb is actually pointing at it. TR is my trailer number. Uh, which is trailer 4014 so that's all of that so what we're gonna do is go to my good old Qualcomm I have the uh, we use the Omni tracks uh, you know what I'm saying so that's the one that we use I think when I was at Stevens it was a different one I don't think it was the Omni tracks when I was at Stevens so what I do, um, oh, I, and like I said, when I write this down on this pad, that keeps you from having to, having to go to your messages right here and keep going to your load assignment. You know what I'm saying? You, Cause see, that's my load right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, um, but that's my load information. So if you write it down, you don't have to keep going back to this screen. So keep that in mind, you know what I'm saying? Try to keep you some notebooks. Some little uh, notebooks. They they don't cost that much at all. You can go to the dollar store. So I'm going to go back. Sorry, I'm going to hit the home button. Excuse me. So I'm going to go to uh, hours of service. You have four hours and 49 minutes of remaining drive time. Okay. She just told, told me how many hours I have. All right, so then, now I'm gonna go to load, and then I'm gonna come down here to new load, <laughs> okay? Now, this line up here, this box up here says load ID. We're gonna put that first number in that I wrote, that 332 number. <laughs> so our load number is 332081. So that's what we're gonna put in here. Three, three, two, zero, eight, one. All right. Let me auto this truck up a little bit. Cause it's gonna cut off. It's a Volvo, like I said in another one of my videos. All right. So the load number is in. All right. All right, so now we're gonna come here to start date, which is 10:22, and we're gonna end this. Click right here. And is we're gonna change that to the 23rd. All right, now. Uh, when I worked at Stevens, theirs was a lot, a lot more to it, as far as putting in your loads. I don't think they had the Omni tracks, but ours is pretty simple. You know what I'm saying? You put your load ID in at the top, your start and your end, and be it bill a lady number, that would go right here. I will make another video on that reason being I say that because I don't have my bills with me and my company they really don't they don't require us to put the bill or later number in here in this bottom box down here so all I have to do now is come up here to trailer one and put in 4014 and then sorry 4014 and that's it for our new load then I'm gonna come down here to this keyboard in the corner I don't know if y'all can see that but I'm gonna click this and then it's gonna go 
to this right here. Cancel or okay. We don't want to cancel. We want to hit okay. I hope y'all can hold on. We're gonna hit okay. And that's it. That's it for putting in a load. Um, you have load here. Certify. Certif certify means, you, you know what I'm saying, you're going to certify your logs. You want to do that. Keep your log certified. Your eight days. And your day log. Your graph. That's my graph. That's what it looks like. Summary. Your summary tells you what you have on each one of your your uh, your lines, your eight hour, your eleven hour, your fourteen hour on duty, your seventy, which is at the bottom. Um, if y'all want to, for uh, new people, I will make a video on all of this and try to explain it the best that I can about each one of these. I'm gonna hit the home button. So. That's how I put my new load in. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not hard. Like I said, man, um, I don't claim to know it all, but to me, driving tractor trailer, it, it's really not hard. It's really not. This stuff is not hard unless you make it hard. You understand? You know, um, you have your days where, you know, you seem like you can't really get it together, like backing up. I mean, sometimes you get to places, it's like you be so tired, you know what I'm saying? Like your brain want, like your brain wants to shut down. Your body is telling you it's time to lay down and get some sleep, get some rest. And, and you're trying to back in, it's not like, you know, you're not getting it the way that you know that you can get it, you know what I'm saying, boom, bam, but that's that's a part of backing too, but you, you have days like that, you know, um, that's just the way it is sometimes. Um, you, want, you want to try to get enough sleep doing this, um, I can't stress that enough, I think I said that in another one of my another one of my videos um when i go home i try to get as much rest as possible for real for real um you know rest is very important doing this um but that's all i have y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope that my camera my camera skills excuse me my camera skills were good uh you know, like I said, I, I I haven't been doing this YouTube thing a long, long time, but uh, I'm going to be more consistent too. Uh, I'm going to put my Facebook name uh, in the description because I have some videos on there that a lot of y'all probably haven't seen. So you can go on my Facebook page and check out some of my videos on there too. Um, if you like my videos, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Trucker J, aka Diesel. And uh, that's all I got, man. Um, I'm, I'm out here in Maryland waiting to get loaded. I'm gonna be headed back to um, Ohio. Um, and for for those of y'all that might want to know. Um, about this headset, it's a good headset. It's it's sturdy. I still like my my blue parrot stuff, so don't get it twisted. I'm going to get me another blue parrot. There's a backup headset, but uh, this this right here, I think is worth two hundred dollars. It has another part that you can attach on this side. I'm starting to see a lot a lot of guys uh, getting these right here. The cancellation is good. Um, and now I'm not saying go run out there and get a $200 headset. You know what I'm saying? A headset is a headset for real. So I'm just throw that out there. You don't have to get a Rand McNally clear drive or the blue pair at 550. You know what I'm saying? Get something that works for you. This in your budget. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your spending range. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
main thing is you want to be able to hear good and you want the person to be able to hear hear you good so um, keep that in mind um, I haven't gotten a CB yet um, I'm really thinking about getting one uh, matter of fact this place that I'm at my this is where my my mic to my blue Perry I had the 450 then my uh, mic had messed up at this same exact uh, place and that was my first time going home too with with this company so it's it's kind of strange but yeah um to next time y'all keep it between the lines be safe um put god first in all that you do and like i said man um uh, y'all want to do this you can do anything you put your mind to you know what i'm saying the sky's the limit so i'm gonna holler at y'all man i'm out trucker j